I'm sweating really badly. Today we will be talking about vaginas. So if that makes you uncomfortable, then please exit this video right now. I posted a photo on Instagram yesterday of a menstrual cup that I purchased for myself and I got an overwhelming response and so many questions from you guys. Um, since I've never tried a product like this before, I wasn't able to answer all of your questions, but I'm hoping that I will be able to answer them throughout the duration of this video. Basically, I am a menstrual cup virgin. And today I will be losing my menstrual cup virginity on camera. Yes. So after doing a ton of research, this is the cup that I ended up purchasing. It is the Lunette Cup in size one. It is hypoallergenic, toxin-free, durable, and not harmful to human tissue. And it says that the FDA recommends replacing your cup after two to three years. Because my period does tend to be on the lighter side, I went with size one. Model one, light to normal flow. Model two, normal to heavy flow. But it's also recommended that if you've had kids, then you choose size two. Here's what it looks like outside of the box. It's very soft. And it has this kind of stem at the bottom, which I assume is for removing the cup from your body. It's definitely wider than any tampon that I've ever used, so I'm hoping that it's still as comfortable. Inside the box, there is also an instructional booklet and this little pouch, which I assume is just for storing the product when it's not in use or I guess carrying it around in your purse. Many of you know that I'm very interested in a zero waste lifestyle, so this is basically the ultimate period hack when it comes to zero waste. This morning when I woke up, I used my last tampon hopefully ever. I did not buy another box. I have no backup methods. I'm really hoping this works out for me. Let's go into the bathroom. I'm currently sitting on my toilet. I never thought I would say that on YouTube, but here we are. Um, I have washed my cup out following the instructional booklet and I'm ready to try to put it in. There are apparently various methods to insert this, but the most common I think is folding it into a C shape, which basically means then I'm going to take my finger and push it down like that, I think. And then I'm supposed to just be able to stick it in like in this form and then it should open inside of my body. I also brought some lube into the bathroom. This is water-based. I don't know if I'm gonna need it, but it might be helpful. So we'll keep that over there just in case. So I'm pushing down the top. I feel like this is, I need lube. I'm gonna put just a little bit on the outside, maybe just around the top. All right, this seems large. Oh, no. I'm putting the seat down. Let's try this again with the seat down because I was like falling into the toilet. Um, I think lube might have been not the best choice because it's really slippery. Trying again. I'm going to try to hold my leg. Maybe standing up would be better. All right, as of right now, it's in. I'm not sure if it's in correctly, but it is in. I need to refer to the instructions. Check that the cup has fully opened by sliding a clean finger next to the cup to feel all the way around it. All right, so let's do that. <laughs> I can't tell. It just feels like my vaginal muscles are like pushing down on the sides of it. I'm gonna try to take it out and reinsert it. Relax your muscles, squeeze the bottom part of the cup until you feel the suction release. Grasp the bottom of the cup tightly with your forefinger and thumb, rock it back and forth. Wait, what's your forefinger? Do not pull it out by the stem alone. My worst fear, it feels like it might be stuck. I just texted my friend. I will say that it doesn't really feel uncomfortable right now, but it's freaking me out that I'm unable to get it out easily. Obviously, I also don't know what I'm doing. All right, she is saying the same thing. Put a finger on either side of the cup, squeeze it together, try to squish it, and twist it out. She says it's easier if I squat all the way down on the floor. Oh, actually, I think this might be easier. I would probably feel a little weird doing this in public, but maybe it will get easier. Running my fingers along. Oh, I do feel the bottom, okay. Trying to feel it with another finger. Ow. Maybe my nails are too long. Is that why it hurts? This feels like surgery. <laughs> it's still in there. I think I'm like tensing my muscles up too much, so that's also 
making it harder. All right, it's out. I got it out. I had to do it off camera because I really was panicking. Basically what I ended up doing was putting a finger against the side, pressing it down, breaking the suction, and then using my other hand to tug on the tail part, this little area. So it was like a joint effort with both hands. Putting it in was definitely significantly easier than taking it out. Hopefully both of these things get easier as time goes on. A lot of people on Instagram did message me saying that there is a big learning curve to using the cup and it does take a while to kind of acclimate and have your body adjust to it. So I was expecting that, um, but I will say it wasn't that bad. Then again, I don't really know if I did it correctly. So I'm gonna try it again and see if it feels a little more comfortable this time around. The weirdest part about all this was when I broke the suction, it kind of sounded like a soda can was opening. Has anyone else experienced that? And is this normal? <laughs> the instructions say that you can wear it for up to 12 hours. And since I'm on the first day of my period, it's very, very light. So I don't expect to have to take it out until before I go to bed. All right, I need to take like five. I need a snack. Okay, so my lunette cup has now been in for about three or four hours since I reinserted it for the second time. Initially, I feel like I was mentally just kind of overthinking it, but once I forgot that it was in there, it's been great. I'm now on my way to a Pilates class, so that should be a pretty good test of how it functions when I'm moving my body vigorously, and I will keep you guys posted. It's about 2 a.m. I just took my cup out for the second time. It was in for almost 10 hours. Even when I removed it, it was only like a very small amount full, and there was a ton of room at the top. Removing it was equally as hard as the first time. Um, I did have another moment of panic, but other than that, today went pretty smoothly. I took a Pilates class, I went to the movies, I couldn't feel it at all. Um, I also had like no cramps today, which is kind of rare, and I'm going to put it back in and see how it does overnight. This is day two of using the Lunette Cup. It's about 9 p.m. I had planned on filming when I woke up this morning, but today got a little bit crazy, so. New handmade stuff. The cup made it seamlessly through the night. I was really scared that while I was sleeping, it would somehow migrate further into my vagina, but that didn't happen. It was still difficult when I removed it this morning. However, I have noticed that putting it in is a lot easier now. I always felt like tampons were pretty comfortable, but somehow this is more comfortable than a tampon. The other crazy thing is this is maybe my first period where I haven't had cramps and I don't know if that's a coincidence, but it's also a little bit strange. Like have I been experiencing cramps for years and years because I've been stuffing bleached chemical cotton into my vagina? That's a scarier thought, you know? I don't know the answer to that, but so far I've had like an incredibly smooth period. So I'm going to keep you posted and I'll see you guys soon. Hey guys, this is day four. I did not get a chance to vlog yesterday because my cat actually had surgery. She had two toes amputated. She's doing great. Um, actually, she's here right now. You wanna say hi? You wanna say hi? This is hopefully the last day of my period, um, but the cup has been amazing. Every day it has been a little bit easier to insert, a little bit more comfortable for me to use. Well, actually, it's been very comfortable to wear. The only uncomfortable part has just kind of been um, getting used to inserting it and removing it, but each day that's gotten a little bit easier. This is absolutely a product that I will continue to use after this video. I wish I had tried it sooner. That's all I can say. This is day five. My period is officially over and I wanted to come back and give you guys a final update on the Lunette Menstrual Cup. I absolutely love this product. I 100% will continue to use this for future cycles. Um, I definitely recommend giving this a try if you've kind of been curious about it, uh, if you wanna lower your waist, if you wanna do something that's healthier for your body. Um, there are so many advantages to using a menstrual cup and I just wish I had discovered it sooner. I also wanted to update you guys on the method that's been working well for me on inserting and removing the cup in case you are trying it for the first time. The first day was definitely the hardest and each time I took the cup out and put it back in, it got a little bit easier and now I feel pretty much completely confident and comfortable. The cup never got stuck inside of me. 
I know that's a big concern for a lot of people. So I'm gonna hop over here and show you what has been working for me. So here is my cup. Um, after each cycle, you are supposed to submerge it into boiling water for 20 minutes just to kill bacteria and germs. So I've already done that this time around. During your period, each time you take it in and out, you only have to wash it with soap and water. I hope this is an okay angle. So for insertion, the best method I have found, which was explained in the instructional booklet, is to press your cup down in the center like this. And for me, what has been really helpful is using a little bit of water-based lubrication on the top just like that, just a small amount, and then kind of massaging that around the edges of the cup. I'm not putting lube on the entire cup because then it would you know, be really slippery. I think this is really helpful if you have any type of vaginal dryness or you know, just to make the insertion process a little bit easier. I've been doing this each time I've inserted the cup, especially just because it is new to me still, but in the future, I'm not sure if I'll have to use lubrication every time. For now, I feel totally comfortable with it though, and it's been helpful. So once you put a little bit of lubrication around the edges, um, I like to just stand up like this, and then using my two fingers like this, you can kind of guide the cup inside of yourself. And then once it is into your vaginal canal, it should open like so, and then it will form a suction inside of your body, um, preventing any leaks. I feel like the word suction really scares everyone, but I can assure you it is totally painless. It was completely comfortable and it was not scary. And then you're going to leave the cup in based on how heavy your period is. For me, I've already explained that my cycle tends to be on the lighter side. So I left my cup in for the maximum time period, which was 12 hours almost each time, and it worked out fine. And you'll probably have to adjust that time based on your own body. And to remove the cup, there were two methods that worked well for me. The first was to stick my pointer finger inside of my vagina along the edge of the cup and then push inwards, almost like a reverse motion of how you inserted it, and then pull the cup downwards, and then pull it out. That was one method that worked pretty well. The other method that worked well for me was to hold on to this tab with my two fingers on one hand, and using my other hand, reach inside and just pinch the bottom lightly, and then pull the cup out. So when you pinch the bottom, you should be able to release that suction and then easily remove the cup. But you know, whatever works for you, that's just what has worked for me. Whatever you do, you don't need to panic. If you, you know, put your finger in and try to break the suction and it's not working out, just take a couple of minutes and relax and then try it again. In the beginning, it took me much longer to remove it and towards the end of my period, I was removing it quite quickly. So it might just take you a few days to get the hang of it. Last thing, very exciting, I reached out to Lunette after a few days of using their product and told them how much I loved it and we have partnered up to do a giveaway. So the day that this video is posted, I'm going to post the giveaway on my Instagram, which is the same username as my YouTube channel, it's Blitz. There will be three winners and each winner will be able to choose the cup that they want um, the size and the color. I think they come in like five colors. I chose clear, but you can choose whatever you'd like. So if you're interested in trying one out, I highly suggest that you enter my giveaway. And again, I will link that below. It will be on my Instagram. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful for you. Um, I definitely learned a lot throughout this process. So I hope you did too. If you have any additional questions that I didn't cover in this video, please feel free to leave them below and I will do my best to answer all of them. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. And I will talk to you then.